complex calculations under time pressure. There's another famous research study concerned with anchoring. It goes back, or it was uh, run by Amos Tversky and Daniel Kahneman. And they also had a setting with two groups and then compared their behavior. Um, both groups or members of both groups had to, to solve a, a calculation within five seconds. And as you can see, both problems are obviously too hard to be calculated um, within five seconds. Problem one, or members of, of group one were asked to uh, calculate the product of eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. Problem uh, two was, was stated a bit differently. Their subjects were asked to um, calculate the product one times two times three times four times five times six times seven times eight. As I said, both questions are obviously too hard to be calculated within five seconds. And here we want to understand how anchoring might be correlated or connected with uh, the use of heuristics. I will show you how this might work on the next slides, but first let us have a look at, at the um, observations that were made in the experiment. So first, obviously the correct solution for both problems is the same. The correct solution is 40,320. What Kahneman and Tversky observed was that the median answer is substantially higher for problem one than for problem two. Meaning if I state the problem as in, in problem one, people hand in way higher estimates. Okay, so what is the takeaway from this study? The takeaway is that the problem formulation can have a strong impact on anchoring and subsequently the participant's behavior. Okay, on the next slide, we want to connect this problem, anchoring, and the use of heuristics. So what is a possible heuristic to solve this problem? As I said, you will not be able to come up with a correct solution within five seconds. What you can do is you can apply a two-step heuristic. In step one, you start calculating and you see how far you get. So if you are a participant in group one, you will start by multiplying eight times seven, and you know the result is uh, 56. Uh, it's easier probably to, to calculate further with an approximation. So let's say eight times six is about 60. Maybe you will have the chance to do a step further, then you multiply this result with six, and your uh, value goes up to 360. Maybe you're also able to do a third step within the five seconds and you multiply the result with five, which, which you, would give you 1,800. This is then, uh, let's say, an initial value, your anchor probably for your estimate um, for the problem solution. If, on the other hand, you're a participant in um, group two, you will obviously start with one times two. The right answer is, is two. Then you proceed, multiply it with three and up with six. Um, probably you will also have the chance to do a third step, which is then multiplying the result uh, by four, ending up with 24. And um, as you can see, the, the problems of the multiplications are, seem to be easier than in the problem set uh, in problem one, which means you may be able to also do a fourth step, multiplying your um, result by five, which gives you 120. So even if you are able to go a step further, 
um, in, in group two, your, the value you will reach when time runs out is way lower than in problem one. So you have these values calculated and in step two, you know that your calculations are lower than the correct answer. So what you have to do is you want to adjust your answer towards the correct answer. As you know, the correct answer is larger. However, as you see, your initial value, your anchoring, your, your anchor is way higher in problem one, which would then be in line with the result that we observe that the estimates from group one are way higher than the estimates from group two. So here, this slide should show you that anchoring might be explained by the use of heuristics, at least in this uh, setting. 